we're, we're professional and we don't get too many shocks against the lesser teams. So you feel that that's really given your players a, a good confidence boost? Well, we've scored five and it's a Scottish Cup and uh, it's against a team that uh, came here and played and tried to play and we're delighted. So 5-1 Hibs, an emphatic victory there. Well, there may have been no surprises in the Scottish Cup, but the same can be said of the British Open Snooker Championship that's been going on all week at the Assembly Rooms in Derby. Early casualties included Stephen Hendry and another world rank. Dundee United kicked off at Tannadice today against a Hibernian side which had brought a huge support to Tayside. Those fans were on their feet when Hibs midfielder Brian Hamilton cracked a terrific shot off Alan Main's crossbar. As United scrambled to reorganise, the ball was played back in. Main jumped for it, but referee Brian McGinley ruled that Pat McGinley had fouled the United keeper. No goal. At the other end, McKinley's free kick, Patalainen's header, Gorham saved. United were coming into it now. Van der Hoorn's free kick. Malpass knocked it back in, and Gorham saved magnificently from Clark. Then the United breakthrough in the last minute of the first half. Another Van der Hoorn free kick. It went all the way through to Darren Jackson. Gorham could do nothing that time. A cluster of players had gone for the ball, but Jackson controlled it well, holding off Alan Snedden to beat Gorham. So the killer blow from United right on half time. Into the second half, Hibbs looking for the equaliser, Collins with the corner, main punch clear. Hamilton played it back in, and a loud penalty claim here by the Hibbs players for handball inside the box. Referee McGinley said no penalty, the Hibbs fans were definitely not in agreement with that decision. Coming up, a truly world-class save from Andy Gorham. United on the attack, youngster Paddy Connolly on the ball, he found Darren Jackson some magic there, Gorham to the rescue. Hibbs then threw new signing Paul Wright into the fray, the man who got their last minute winner last week. Wouldn't you know it, he came close to levelling it minutes after coming on. Mitchell played it in, Wright tried to prod it over the advancing Alan Main. Into injury time now and Hibbs' last chance to get the equaliser. Mitchell on the charge until he met Van der Hoorn. Free kick to Hibbs and Wright came so close with that lifeline again. United fans were pleading with referee McGinley to blow the final whistle but amid all that the home side could have snatched a second. Substitute David Bowman found himself in acres of space here. He couldn't have missed more spectacularly. So Darren Jackson's goal, the difference between the two sides, Hibs out, United into the semi-finals. Well, obviously, I'm the same as everybody else in football. The result is the more important thing. Uh, sadly, entertainment is not uh, high in the... Uh, priorities, but uh, I thought it was a typical cup tie. I thought that uh, the wind and the bumpy conditions meant that it was never going to be uh, a passing uh, game. Uh, and at the end of the day, I thought we thoroughly deserved the victory. Uh, I thought that uh, Andy Gorham had three magnificent saves, but uh, we must look and also say that we were lucky that uh, they hit the bar and the, the start of the game, because I think the first goal was obviously going to be very, very important. But over the piece, I think we thoroughly deserved the victory. Yes, I'm very disappointed you now. I felt that um, today we maybe have got, could have got a draw out it. Uh, Andy Gorham said two good saves, but Brian Hamilton hit the bar. We got a goal disallowed uh, from a cross ball. I felt uh, the young goalkeeper dropped it rather than getting impeded. And um, at the end of the day, OK, one goal separated us. Can you win it? Can you at last win the Scottish Cup? There's absolutely no doubts at all because uh, this year if we get to the final the players are going on their own and I'm going away uh, on holiday so <laughs> there's certainties.
<laughs> they might hold you to that, Jim. Well, uh, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> but uh, realistically, uh, there's no doubt at all. There's no such a thing as a hoodoo. Uh, there is games, in my opinion, that luck plays a vital part. And there are games that play, uh, luck plays a little part. And as far as I'm concerned, we're due a run of the luck at Hamden. Jim McLean smiled there, did you? Strike tips this afternoon. Brian Hamilton is out for the season following his leg break last week. And Paul Kane failed a fitness test this morning on his injured foot.